At six, it is a problem. First Alert 4 continues to cover. You have seen the continuous headlines. Hyundai Kia thefts are not going away. Windows busted out, steering wheels ripped apart, and Hyundai's and Kia's wrecked after being used for crimes. Leading to the question, is the anti-theft fix working? Tonight, we have an answer from an automotive safety expert. He says what's being offered is nothing more than a faulty, a faulty fix. He tells our Shoshana Stahl, Hyundai and Kia know better, but so do those making the rules for automakers. We didn't hear a thing. No alarm went off. Dan Sturgis is one of the hundreds, if not thousands, across the metro who had his Hyundai stolen. But he had it happen again, even after taking safety precautions. We immediately took it back to the dealership where I got it got the supposed upgrade to the software that's supposed to engage a lock on the ignition if it's tampered with and it's supposed to make the alarm go off for 60 seconds uh, pretty loudly. Um, but none of that seemed to stop these guys. It's a trend happening more across St. Louis and the country. It may make it a little trickier, but it doesn't seem to slow these down by very much. Sean Kane is the president of a research organization focusing on vehicle safety in America. An immobilizer is one of the key parts of a car that prevents it from being stolen. And it's something millions of Kias and Hyundais don't have. It has been required in other countries uh, for again, decades. Uh, in the United States, it is not mandatory. It is um, one of the options manufacturers can choose. And, and they essentially have to just provide effective theft prevention. The anti-theft software being added to the cars, Kane says just isn't as effective. They're simply putting you know, a, a bandage on a, a, you know, a wound. Immobilizers are part of the electronic system within a car, something Kane says wouldn't have been expensive for the manufacturers to put in, estimating it would cost less than $25. But Kane says that's where federal regulations need to change. What we've seen from the federal agency is a willingness to, to say, hey, this isn't our problem, this is a theft problem. But in fact, it is their problem because we're seeing the safety results. Kane says the newest prevention tactic is the manufacturers offering a metal shield to go over the steering column. That way, thieves can't access it. In St. Louis, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4. For all of our coverage, including details on a class action lawsuit that's underway, you can open up this story right now on your First Alert 4 news app. Right now.